Hey there, everybody. Pete Pardo here from Sea Tranquility. Welcome to another edition of Top 10 Songs. Today, we're going to look at my favorite tracks from German heavy metal act, The Scorpions. So, another one of those bands that have kind of like different eras, right? So, you've got the 70s era with, you know, Michael Schenker at the, at the tip, uh, followed by a string of very, very strong albums featuring guitarist Uli John Roth. And then you've got the 80s and forward stuff, which has uh, features Matthias Jabs and more of like kind of like a commercial metal direction. So a lot of different stuff. Personally, I got into the Scorpions right around the time of the Blackout album. So that was initially my favorite material from the band. You know, uh, Animal Magnetism, Love Drive, Blackout, Love It First Thing, that, that era. That's kind of what I really got into initially. However, shortly thereafter, I really started getting into the Uli John Roth era, or Ulrich Roth as he went by early in those in those days. So we're talking like, you know, the Fly to the Rainbow album and in trance and Virgin Killer and Taken by Force, and more specifically the the Tokyo Tapes live album. I heavily got into that era. And I found as I've gotten older that's really the material that I gravitate towards the most. When I go to listen to the Scorpions, I almost always go to those albums, as well as the Lonesome Crow album, their very, very first album, which I like quite a bit, with a 16-year-old guitar prodigy named Michael Schenker. So let's run down my top 10 favorite songs. Again, the majority of these are going to be 70s songs. That's just the way it worked out. Um, but my honorable mentions has a little bit of everything. So let's uh, let's track it down, shall we? Coming in at number 10 from the Love Drive album, again, the one lone appearance of a post-Uli John Roth uh, era song in my top 10 is Holiday, a gorgeous, gorgeous, soaring, beautiful song that uh, one of those kind of, you know, heart tugger tunes. Always loved Holiday. I love the uh, just real kind of intricate yet tranquil guitar work and Klaus Mina's Wonderful vocals on that. Just a, a perennial favorite of mine. Uh, Holiday coming in at number 10. Coming in at number 9. Off the Taken by Force album. We'll Burn the Sky. Another very cool kind of somewhat lengthy tune that kind of builds and builds with a great uh, Roth guitar solo in it. Uh, again, a pretty pretty memorable tune as well. Uh, not one of their heavier rockers, but uh, it's got some cool riffs in it and it's just a driving just memorable melodic tune, which I really like quite a bit. Coming in at number eight off the In Trance album, which is probably my favorite Scorpions album, studio album anyway, probably In Trance or Virgin Killer. They're right up there. I think In Trance I like a little bit better. Uh, but this is the Savage song Dark Lady, which of course features the vocals of Roth in addition to some killer guitar work, absolutely mesmerizing guitar work. Uh, I always really liked that song, and again, it just kind of showed how he, how adept he was at doing that kind of like really early neoclassical thing meets like kind of the Jimi Hendrix uh, bluesy jazz and like acid rock type of thing. So I really like Dark Lady a lot. Coming in at number nine, the iconic title track to Fly to the Rainbow. Again, here is where his kind of Hendrix influence really came uh, into play. And I actually like the Tokyo Tapes live version a little bit better than the studio version, but they're both fantastic. Uh, it's got some just really kind of cool Hendrixian bluesy passages, and there's a lot of psychedelia in this song. And at the end is just this molten volcanic rock with, you know, whammy bar explosions and all sorts of craziness. Uh, a great, great song, majestic song that I've always really liked a lot. Coming in at number six, another title track, the title track to In Trance. Uh, again, so memorable, so dynamic, so majestic, uh, a great anthem, one of those tunes that comes on, man, I'm singing every line of it. Uh, great, great rhythm guitar work from Rudolf Schenker on that one, just a another perennial favorite of mine. Coming in at number five, Back to the Fly to the Rainbow album, you see in a pattern here, uh, Speedy's Coming, another like molten heavy rocker with some crazy ass guitar soloing from uh, Uli. Um, and Klaus's vocals are awesome on this. This is like a really kind of rage and speed metal rocker from the band. Again, that 70s material, so ahead of its time. There was no other band out there that sounded like the Scorpions in that time period. Really, really crazy, crazy good stuff. That's uh, number five. 
Coming in at number four, back to the Entrance album, the and this almost finished up a little higher. This is one of those tunes that I've just, as the years have gone by, I've just liked it even more. Uh, Evening Wind. What a gorgeous song. I mean, yeah, the whole beginning to that song, just kind of the, the addicting, lulling vocal harmonies from Klaus and the kind of mellow but intricate guitar work, uh, the, the crying guitar leads, you know, like especially in the beginning, it almost sounds like a bird, you know, Roth is doing all these kind of cool things, and in the end, you know, the crescendo, dun, 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 love it, it's just epic sounding Scorpions, man, great stuff. Coming in at number three, the title, tr uh, the kickoff track to uh, Virgin Killer, Pictured Life, Upbeat, fun, hard rocker, man. Just again with some just great chorus and blistering guitar work from Roth once again. Can't get enough of that song. Also from the same album. And again, I like the live version from Tokyo Tapes a little bit better than the studio version, but I just love the song to death. It's another song sung by Uli. It's Polar Nights. Again, more of his just Herculean guitar work. Is there really any guy in the 70s who's doing stuff like this? It's just crazy when you go back and listen to some of those 70s albums by the Scorpions. It's just fantastic. Uh, and I just love Polar Nights. It's, it's heavy. It's um, and the, the guitar stuff at the end of the song, just exploding. Whammy bars and wah-wah. Just, oh, man, awesome. Feedback and distortion. Just it, Uli just kind of putting out all the stops, man. Just great stuff. My number one song. Another tour de force for Mr. Roth. Um, this is probably not going to come as a surprise to many of you, but uh, it's the Sales of Sharon from the Taken by Force album. Just a great tune with a really kind of cagey and sneaky riff at the beginning. Uh, one of those songs I, for years and years and years, I just was like afraid to even tackle it on guitar. But a couple of months back, I was trying to learn that little riff at the beginning that little extended lick man it's pretty damn cool um you know and then he goes into the crazy solo and i'm like i give up at that point but uh just a really kind of cool majestic heavy rocker with again some great guitar work and uh as you know the guitar work on all these tunes that i mentioned here is just off the charts whether you're talking about um you know uli roth or t.s jabs or um, Rudolf Schenker. I didn't mention any Michael Schenker stuff yet, but I'm going to do that right now because we're going to talk about my honorable mentions, right? So let's go all the way back to the beginning. So from the Lonesome Crow album, I really like uh, I'm Going Mad. Stinging guitar solos from a very, very young Michael Schenker in that. Uh, how about the title track, Lonesome Crow? Very cool tune. Uh, it all depends. Uh, inheritance. Haunting vocal harmonies from Klaus on that. Plus some just molten guitar work from a such a young Michael Schenker who was just really just knocking it out at such a tender age, and he was off to UFO shortly thereafter. From the Fly to the Rainbow album, how about They Need a Million? Gorgeous tune, love that. Drifting Sun, another uh, Uli song that just kills me every time I hear it. Uh, this is my song, another good one. From the In Trance album, all right, I'm just going to go and name every song on this album because they're all amazing. Uh, the Majestic Memorable Life's Like a River, how about the Hard Rocking Top of the Bill, uh, Living and Dying, Another great emotional tune. Klaus, just very underrated vocalist. Uh, Robot Man, hard charging speed metal of Robot Man. Sun in my hand. More Roth extravaganzas. And how about Longing for Fire? Very, very cool tune. From Virgin Killer, Catch Your Train. Another really good, crisp, hard rocker. Uh, in Your Park. Almost made my top 10. Just love those vocal harmonies on that. Just another gut wrenching tune. Uh, Hellcat was in my top 10 and ultimately got booted out by another tune. I love Hellcat. It's so brief and quick, but kick ass. Uh, Roth's guitar work and just awesome in that. Uh, the title track to Virgin Killer. Crazy, crazy, maniacal early metal tune. And how about the mysterious Yellow Raven? Another good one. Uh, from Taken by Force, I've Got to Be Free. Great hard rocker. Uh, Your Light, okay? How about He's a Woman, She's a Man? Gotta love that one, right? Uh, from Love Drive, the great album is Love Drive, and don't mind the barking dog in the background. Uh, Loving You Sunday Morning, always like that tune. Great uh, lead-off track to that album. Uh, Another Piece of Meat, Raging Hard Rocker. Uh, always Somewhere, really good kind of ballad tune. Uh, the instrumental Coast to Coast, gotta love that. Uh, 
Can't Get Enough. I Can't Get Enough. Great song. Uh, and Love Drive, the title track. Great tune. From Animal Magnetism, uh, Make It Real. Not Fantasy. I always like that tune. Uh, Fall in Love, another good hard rocker. Uh, the Zoo, gotta love The Zoo. Uh, Hold Me Tight's another great tune. Only a Man is Awesome. And how about the title track, Animal Magnetism? From Blackout. And then, you know, it's funny because Blackout was like my, one of my, probably my favorite Scorpions album for a, a couple of years back when it first came out. But um, I like a lot of stuff better. But the title track is awesome. Uh, Can't Live Without You, great tune. You Give Me All I Need, always like that one a lot. Uh, now is great. Um, Dynamite, almost made my top 10. Love Dynamite. Of course, No One Like You is a great tune. Uh, and China White, I like quite a bit. Uh, from Love at First Thing. Yeah, got to talk about Rocky Like a Hurricane. It's a, it's a tune we probably heard enough, but man, it's just that's that's such a great, catchy, like accessible metal tune. You know, it's been played to death, yeah, but it's still a great song with a great solo from Jabs on it. Uh, Coming Home, I always really like. Good hard rocker, and you know what? I always dug Still Loving You. That's a really cool emotional ballad from them. It's kind of heavy, and it's got a really cool solo, as simple as it is, from uh, Mr. Shanker on that one. Okay, good tune. Um, and I'm going to skip up a couple albums to the Face the Heat album. I love Alien Nation. What a heavy song that is from an album that I just don't like at all. Uh, I kind of dropped off the map with the Scorpions after Love It First Thing. You know, I've, I've gone back and, in fact, putting together this list, I kind of went, went back to some of those other albums like in the late 80s. And man, they just, for me, they don't hold up too well. And the Face of the Heat album, I really don't dig at all, but I always love that Alien Nation tune. And, you know, as far as, like, the stuff that they've released in recent years, I don't own any of it. I've listened to some of those albums. They're okay, but it's just there's nothing on there that really screams to me and that stands out as, like, top-notch, top-drawer, top-shelf Scorpions. It's all decent, um, but it just doesn't, it hasn't resonated with me like some of that kind of 70s and early 80s, early mid-80s stuff, so... Let's go back and revisit the top ten, why don't we? All right. So number coming in at number one, Sales of Sharon by um, from Taken by Force. Number two, Polar Knights from Virgin Killer. Number three, Pictured Life, also from Virgin Killer. Number four, Evening Wind off the Entrance album. Number five, Speedy's Coming from Fly to the Rainbow. Number six, title track to Entrance. Number seven, title track to Fly to the Rainbow. Number eight, Dark Lady, also from Entrance. Number nine, Will Burn the Sky from Taken by Force. And coming in at number 10, Holiday off the Love Drive album. So that's my top 10 from Germany's The Scorpions. Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, we've got some cool top 10 songs coming up uh, in the very new future. We've got an ELO one coming up. We've got a, uh, a Uriah Heap one coming up next week. There's all sorts of other bands we are got on the list to do. So just be patient. We'll get to them as quickly as we can. But make sure you visit us on the web at www.seatranquility.org. This is on Facebook. This is on Twitter. And, of course, stay tuned here on the Mighty YouTube for all the stuff that's coming up. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you tell all your friends. All right? We'll see you real soon, guys. Take care.